Lovely. Good. Let's have a little twist. Warming up the waist and the spine. Let the hip and the knee follow. Make it bigger. Reach. Squeeze in the tummy in as well. Four, three, two, one. Let's take those arms up and over. A little bit of uh, not really any planks today. Did I mute you? I'm sure I did. I'm all mad. I'm always doing that, forgetting, sorry. <laughs> Roll the shoulders, really big back ones, not too much uh, plank work today, but uh, we're doing that sort of uh, one we've done for ages, which is where we do eight reps and hold and it just sort of continues. Lovely. Let's lift the knee up and a little twist towards it with the elbows. We think a twist in the body, crunching down towards the side. Like you're doing a crunch line down, but you're standing up. Lovely, similar one, we're gonna turn sideways. We're doing a standing crunch. So we're crunching up, crunch up, crunch. Up, we're going to add a leg, so crunch, crunch, lovely. So really make sure you're rounding the back, using the abs, so it isn't a sort of hinge from the hips. Feel that you're crunching here. Don't have to lift the leg very high. Where's the music? Turn it on. <laughs> Can't do two things at once. <laughs> Alexa, volume up. There we go. Lovely. March it out. Good. So we're still going to work these obliques, but it's going to work the legs a bit as well. So feet apart. Have your hand on your hip. We're going to reach over and we're pulling again the knee to the elbow. So we're crunching here. Ready, go. A little bit of balance. But it's really open that knee, open that hip to elbow and feel squeezing here, crunch it again. Feel that like you're doing a bit of a side crunch. Nice reach as well, get a nice little shoulder stretch in there. Oh, I can feel this. Oh, eight more. <laughs> Let's change sides. Oh, I can feel that. Okay, ready. Hand on hip. We're doing the other side. Reach over and pull down. A few sort of yourself started. I'm just going down to the ball of my foot. I'm not even putting my flat foot flat on the floor. It's just to push you off again. Crunch. Crunch the body down. Lovely stuff, keep going. Four more. Last one, well done. Oh, let's have a little release. Reach up and over. And change. Gonna do a little bit of work still for the sides, these waists. So we're gonna do some side bends, but I do want to add the legs. So I'm turning the feet out, bend the knees down a little bit, and you're trying to push your knees out and back. Hands here, tip to the side. So we want to do this slowly because. You are bending the spine as well as working the waist, so you don't want to suddenly yank it over. If you want to work those legs more, you can come down into a squat, 
and then get your elbows to your knees. But just see what your legs and hips are happy with. Standing up tall is fine, straight legs is fine. It's just in, adds a bit of legs if you want to. Let's reach behind. Reach. So don't worry, you're not trying to touch the floor, you're just reaching down. And reach. Let's give those legs a bit of a rest, but carry on, reach. Let's take the arms up and over instead, reach, and reach, and reach, and reach. Can we do both arms, reach, nice and slow. Quite heavy, so if you need to, do adjust, really squeeze the tummy. Think of reaching up into the corners. There is a bend, but we're not trying to bend in half too much. We're almost trying to stop yourself from collapsing. So you let your body hold yourself. And again. Four. Three. Two. And one. Lovely stuff. Let's come down to the floor. So whilst we are sitting up, I'm going to do a Russian twist. So I don't particularly want us to really twist the body because you've already got your spine bent because of the way we're sitting. So over twisting isn't great, but what we can do is take the arm side to side and that sort of works the muscles because it's trying to pull you off balance. You can have a weight if you wanted to. But rather than the body twist, it's just the arms, like you're rowing but your chest stays forward so you're not doing this over, I don't think it's brilliant for your spine to be fair. But you can squeeze, create a scoop, a C shape. We can do this with the legs on and then we'll add the legs off, see how you feel. Ready, here we go. So it's just a figure of eight. So again, it doesn't feel like much but the arms do sort of make you work your obliques, your sides a bit more, see if you had a weight, it's different, relax a bit. Can we lift one foot? Can we switch? Keep squeezing that tummy, squeezing that pelvic floor. Release, can we try both legs? I tend to cross them. Squeeze the tummy, don't let it pop out, pull those abs in. Again, options, you can have your feet down if you want. Let's do another 16. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, release. Have a little stretch of those legs and arms, stretch out your tummy muscles. Really sort of lift your chest. Okay, so we're going to do our little dead bug exercise. Dead bug's not the nicest word, but you can see here my back is arched. I'm trying to demonstrate. We want to flatten, 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 flatten. So you almost feel like you're doing a pelvic tilt. You can see I've nearly lifted my bum off the floor. That's how you want to feel. And then lift one leg and hold that there. Otherwise, if I release slightly, you can see the difference. Nothing from here, it really hurts. So we're going to do that. We're going to lift legs. One at a time and one arm. So get in your position, breathe in, breathe out. Flatten the back in the floor as if you're going to do a pelvic tilt and lift all the way up. So really tilt, squeeze, try not to be too tight here. Long neck, lift the leg, press the back in, hold, breathe. So imagine your whole back flat in the floor, not just the tailbone, but your ribs, all the flesh around it, every part. Push further into the floor. Imagine you're pushing from here. Almost think that you're trying to do a lift, as if you were going to push on here and lift up, but don't lift. And that pushing, lifting feeling will give you that engagement you need. Let's add an arm. Relax the neck. We're just going to keep building. I'm going to add some movement. It's optional. Lengthen and in. Again, the main thing is pulling those abs in. Zip up that pelvic floor like you're holding in a weight. Squeeze. Breathe in and out. 
every out breath, extra little squeeze, press the back in the floor. Again, think pelvic tilt. Imagine you're about to lift your hips up every time. Four and three, two and one. We're going to switch foot down, release. Breathe in, breathe out. Back in the floor. Let's lift the other leg. Think, push, curl as if you're about to lift. Let's have the arms. You're really flattened. Squeeze the tummy. Keep that knee above the hip. Don't bring it in. Flatten the abs. You're trying to pull them in and flatten them. Squeeze them. Squeeze the pelvic floor. Lengthen the neck. Relax the shoulders. And smile. Let's add some movement. Breathe in as you lengthen, breathe out as you squeeze and breathe back in. Squeeze, imagine your tummy is pulling in that leg and that arm. Four more. Press that back, pull those abs. Wonderful, release. We're going to do one more set. If your back has any issues, any sort of twinges, just do what we've done. Just stick to one arm, one leg, and switch. If you can do both legs, you can do both. I'll tell us when to swap over. Press the back of the floor. Flat back, long neck, lift the leg. Can you lift the other one? Really? Now, imagine you're doing a reverse curl. So even maybe do a reverse curl. You know that feeling of here and lift, now hold there. So imagine you're trying to hold a reverse curl. Can we lift an arm? So almost imagine you're trying to lift up. I think that really does. I'm shaking. You should be shaking. Pull the tummy in. Try and lift those hips as if you're trying to curl. Other arm. Again, you could just have one arm and leg here. It's just a still pose. If you did have one arm and leg, switch to the other one. Push the back, try and lift. Lift the hips, lift the hips, chin down. Two more breaths. And release. Oh, well done. Bring those knees in. Lengthen. Okay. We're going to do now our sort of non-stop ab challenge. Again, this is uh, one of the ones that Soap Display did. <laughs> and we're just going to keep going and keep adding on. So break when you need to. But we are going to be doing eight crunches, hold for eight. And then we're going to add some legs. Eight crunches, hold for eight. So it's going to be a bit like that for the first set. The second set's on the floor and it's going to be all legs. But you can go as long as you can. Okay, so let's start off with hands here, supporting the head. So you're really only lifting the chest a little bit. You're not pulling up here. So think about that small lift and down, but squeeze the tummy. You don't have to flatten the back really because the legs aren't lifted. And we're doing eight. Ready? Here we go. One. And the key is not to push your belly out when you're lifting, but pull it in so it's flat as you lift. That's why a small lift is the key. Again, use the breath. Squeeze the pelvic floor. Four more. And three. And two. And one. And hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release. You're going to lift both legs. Don't worry if they're not straight, but bring them in if you can because we don't want to have them over there. Ready? You're going to reach up towards the toes. One. Two. Don't worry if you don't touch them. Again, if you're here, that's fine. Just reach. Five, six, seven, eight. Hold it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring one leg in, take one leg away. We're just going to go straight up and down, no rotation. Ready? And lift. And low. If it's too much, put the foot on the floor. Three. Again, push the lower back in the floor. We're back to that tilt again. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Hold it up. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Press the back in the floor. Switch and lower. We're going to go straight in. Pull the tummy. Back into the floor and one. Again, you can have the option of the foot on the floor. Four. Five. Six. 
four more. Keep those elbows back. Just support the head. Don't pull on it. Again, it's a small lift. Oh, this is going to be already. <laughs> Up, one more. Hold. For two. For three. For four. For five. For six. For seven. For eight. Release. Couple of seconds respite. We're going to do the same exercise, but this time rotate across. So go back to, let's just do right leg up, left leg out, does it really matter? And we're going to go across. You can either keep one hand on the floor for support, like that, or you can lift up both and rotate in the air. Again, work at your level. We're going to do eight and hold. Ready? Five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three. Again, flat back in the floor if you need to. Other foot down. Four. Five, pull the tummy in, squeeze the pelvic floor, seven, and eight, hold the last one, eight, and seven, push the back in the floor, three, two, one, switch legs, release, you know where you are with your legs then, we're going to switch sides, ready, we can do this, <sighs> yes we can, yes we can, we're going to do it. So either foot on the floor or legs out, but back stays in the floor, ready, lift and twist. Again, elbow down if you want, or elbows off and rotate. Five, and four, and three, and two, and one, release and hold, and eight, and seven, and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one, release. Woo. Neck and shoulders are down, I need to so no, for a bit, give them a release. So, this one again, back in the floor, or if you really need to, pop hands underneath, because we are going to be lifting two legs. If you do have back issues, hands underneath. You could always do one at a time, if you've got back issues, we are going to be doing this sort of thing, legs in and out. So, listen to your body, you are the best teacher of your own body. Okay, back into the floor, think of that tuck and tilt, lift the leg up, and I've got a flexed foot, and my knee is over my hip, so don't bring it in, long neck, lift up, we are going to just pedal, push one, come back, two, come back, three, four, five, so this is a different round, there's no holding with this one, let's speed it up, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Keep the back in the floor, pull it in, squeeze the pelvic floor and release. We're just going to do one leg as a um, cycle. Okay. Work it out what I was doing. Cycle one and back to the other. One and back, one and back. So instead of a pump in and out, it's a circular motion, like you might in a bike. Don't know why I'm having such trouble with those words. As it goes down, don't let the back lift, not any part of that body. Four more. Three, even if it's a small cycle, it can be here. You don't have to make a big one. Like, reverse. Down and in. Down and in. Down and in. Down. 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 And down. We're going to go for double legs. Stick with singles if you need to. Out and in. Out. Really push the back in the floor. Pull the abs down so you imprint as you push. Wonderful. Two more. And release. Ooh, we've got some reverse curls now. So this time we are actually going to lift the hips up. So that is going to look like, again, tuck your top in. I find I was end up sucking my back to the mat. It makes weird noises. Sort of gets stuck on it, which is nice. Okay, so options. Knees in and feet down. Or just knees in. You could just be here. Or knees in and down. Knees in, down. Not too quick. Controlled. Can we make it bigger? Straight legs like you're trying to touch the ceiling. Two more. Just 
feeling in sets of eight and did this release. Woo! Okay. So, this one is, let's set ourselves up. This is the one that we hold. We're going to hold, 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 and then we're going to take it down to the floor. So we start losing feet in towards the bottom, just on the toes. Balance here, squeeze the tummy, relax the shoulders. Can we lift the feet? Can we have the hands underneath, knees, feet together, balance here. So you're just going to have to work your flexibility level and your strength. So if you need to have your feet down, that is fine. Can we do this with arms off? You could do this whole thing with the arms on if you need to. We are gently going to count for four and lift the right leg. One, two, three, four. Lower, two, three, four. Left, one, two, three, four. And lower, two, three, four. Both legs, one, two, three, four. And lower, two, three, four. Lift them up, two, three, four. And hold, open, close. One, and two. Again, if you need to be here, here. three, this is fine. And four. Can we do four more? Four. And three. And two. And one. Slowly lower down for eight. Eight. And seven. And six. And five. Lower your upper body. Four. And three. And two. And one. Oh my god. <sighs> Stretch. Let's put your right foot on the floor, knee bent, so we roll over. Just a little bit for the back, as this is core as well. I think mean, we need to rest those abs. Just relaxing the feet on the floor. Hands are here. Shoulders back. So let's have the hands behind us this time. So what I want to do is neck is long, reach the hands back to the shoulders, go away from the ears, squeeze the tummy in, like exactly like we did when we was on our back, so you're not pushing on your belly, suck it in. Small lift, reach back, so it's like you're flying through the air, and lower, breathe in, lift, and lower, and lift, and lower. I'm going to add some hands onto this. So my palms are up, I'm going to turn them in towards my body, so they're down, rotate. You're only going to go one way, like you're opening a door log, rotate and down. So you lift up, reach back, rotate, squeeze the shoulder blade, pull the tummy in, lift up and rotate. Lift up and rotate. Lift up and rotate. One more, lift it up, rotate, hold. Rotate, rotate, just keep rotating, opening and closing the door, lengthen the neck, chin tucked in, reach those arms behind you as far as you can reach, four more, three, now keep the palms up to the ceiling and pump them up, squeeze the tummy, suck it in, so you're leaning into your ribs, relax the legs, relax the neck, long neck, and four more, and three, and two, and one, release, good, let's push back. Ooh. Lovely, so one little more challenge, that's not good English, one more little challenge. So again, this is kind of a bit optional. But what I want to do is flutter the legs, and again, you can have your hand under your bum, and that can either be up here, or it can be down here, and you can be lifted with your head and shoulders, or you can be here, whatever works for you. But we're gonna flutter for six, I'll show you. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, sit all the way up. Again, if you can't get your arms up, don't worry. If you are just doing a smaller version, this is fine, and then rock yourself up. But if we can, all different versions. We're just gonna do those for literally, let's see how many we can do. Maybe five or so. Release. Get the next song on, actually. That makes more sense. There we go, it's here now. 
Yes, this is our last song. We can do it. Let's try and do it to the end of this song. Don't worry if you need to break in between. Great. But let's see if we can do it. Ready? And again, you can do the head down. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Lift up. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can do your own time as well. Again, you could have options of arms. Please listen to your body and your back. I'm trying to set a pace, but I don't want you to try and copy me and hurt yourself. That's four. And again, you're really pushing your back into the floor here. That's seven. Can we get to ten? Let me switch to something else. That's eight. That's nine. Woo! Ten. Let's do our little uh, sexy penguin which is where we lift and we reach to the heels. And if you need to support your head, you can just do the same here. Ready, here we go. Feet quite close to the bottom. Again, we're feeling this side crunch here, working the waist. Lovely, that's it. Ooh, you should feel those waists working. Shut up, really. Let's just rest the neck and shoulders for a moment, look side to side. Okay, last few seconds. I want to try and find the next song because we need to cool down. Reach, two, three, four, five, keep going, stay here. Let's make this our last four, three, two, and one. Relax, stretch. Turn over onto our tummies, so left foot down, right foot, whichever way gets you over. And stretch the tummy, stretch those legs as well. There we go. So elbows here in front of you, let your tummy relax, don't try and squeeze it or put it in this time. And just bring the elbows a bit more in and lift the chin a bit. Feeling the tummy stretch. And then maybe you can just push slightly on those hands. See how that feels. If you don't like it, just keep the elbows down. You can always bring in more. Again, you listen to your back. Mine is happy there, it doesn't want to go any further. Release down, let's just grab one leg to stretch those hip flexors. We did a lot of those legs kicking about. switch sides and release push up one more child pose and let's come to a gentle sitting position just a quick neck stretch just gently to the side and change And just gently lengthen, small stretch, push this hand to the floor. And one more, other side. Just a chest, chest stretch, as we've been doing a lot of this. Hands behind, stretch back. Another option which is quite nice is you can put your hands behind you and you can just lift up. You can even be on your knees and do that to give it a little bit more. Again, see how you feel, if not just a normal chest stretch, but you can reach back. 
really open up those shoulders and that chest. Lovely, let's breathe to finish. Well done, it's tough today. And give yourselves a clap. Thank you. That was hard, Lisa.